Barker approved rations and a half for you. And I also brought this. Oh, thank you. Extra rations? Come on, I don't need this. I needed this when I was a soldier, not now. Come on, Jen, you're gonna take some of this. No. No. Come on, I know you like potatoes. No, stop. Swell up, Jen, take it. No, your immune system needs it. What is an immune system? They should have been giving you extra since the injury, not cutting you back. Fine. So how are the eyes doing? Who says I'm researching the eyes? Come on, Jen. You practically have independent information and initiative inked on your back. No, just my blood type. Really? Early intelligence branch days. We thought it would be a good idea. <coughs> um, what's Com saying? Commander Berkey doesn't talk to anyone but her team. She was the only one of them that came to visit me. And she saw the videos back on the first card. Didn't care. If they were important, I can see why she'd be mad. You know, it's bullshit, right? All five of them are full of shit. When baby Jackson grows up, she's gonna be third generation shit. Quiet, Jen. My obsession with the eyes isn't some kind of joke. It's because of this. The Berkeys get in your head. The eyes fight that. They ended the suicide cult in old Idaho. They brought down the Federal Reconglomeration Bureau, or whatever it's called, as their first action in the field. You've seen what the FRB was capable of in your videos. The eyes, they curb stomp them, only five years post by. The eyes fight the people that control my thought. You've met one, one eye. God rest his soul. I can't talk about this. Jen, things are finally good. Finally, good. Until the end. And then the number it takes to balance it is the weight. Okay, I can remember that. I really should have paid more attention in science. Oh, middle school science was lame anyway. Yeah, I wasn't really interested till after the virus hit. Well, I can appreciate a late bloomer. <laughs> Though, I can't be much help with medicine, I'm afraid. Engineer, any help you can give us, really. I can help if you need it. Thanks, Rachel, but I think they'll be sending someone who's a bit more qualified over from one of the other labs. Hopefully. I could help. Oh, you just want to get out of Kimmer's tutoring. So? When I'm here learning how to stitch a wound and save people, and, and I downed a crow yesterday with my slingshot, but here Kimber is yelling at me about what x plus x equals. 2x. Sorry, but you can go work with Dr. Ramirez. But it's silly. Product of the virus, I guess. You'd appreciate practical skills over general learning. A virus, baby. It's not like I don't remember the stuff before the virus. It just feels less real, you know? It was mostly school and summer vacation, one or the other. Mom and Dad owned a restaurant, and Kimber spent less time in bed, but sometimes she'd go to the hospital and we'd watch PBS. I didn't have a ton of friends, not like you. Oh, Adrian, you're a real sap. All mushy and cutesy. Stop it, Anna. <laughs> Look, Adrian, can't you just learn it? Not when there's filming to do. Uh, reverse, reverse. I thought this was because Kimber was teaching you useless skills. Yes, and... <laughs> and you'd rather be filming instead? Recording is important. Callie Albright said so. I could travel around filming things. Is this alright? Yeah, that's great. Uh, just when you're doing it on meat, you're going to be using a curved needle, so your stitches are going to need to be wider, okay? Mm -hmm. That's that's a lot better, Rachel. Um, are you sure that you want to be... I am going to do this right or I'm going to swell up trying. Rachel! <sighs> Sorry. Now you see, this I can do. It's building hand-eye coordination, and there are no X's. 
Mom, it's building hand-eye coordination, I swear. Just let me finish this level. Some things never change. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Finally. Thought you never went anywhere without the siblings. Without? What? Kimber, Greg, and her brother. I need to talk to you without them. I... I'm, I'm not sure I understand. You're friends with Kimber Gregg, yes? Yes, she's one of my best friends. You're not the only one she's close with. Kimber Gregg is a spy for the FRB. Wait, what? She's clandestine profile number 37. I... I think you'll find Greenden is missing this. Uh, clandestine? I... My entire job is not hearing secrets. Lucky for you, I'm bad at it. This is... Your friend is a spy. This is bullshit. I mean, I don't... I don't know anything about you. How do you expect me to believe that... This is a fair trade! I tell you this, and you get me into Greenden. <laughs> you must be joking. You think if you tell me that Kimber is some kind of spy that I'll... I'll what? How did you get into Greenden then? I... I was kidnapped by cannibals. My friends and I were led into Green Den by the previous leader. I was part of a buy four, get one free deal. A what? A... Never mind. It doesn't really help me. Most of the cannibals are dead by now. <laughs> it was a joke. Vera Olegovna did not teach me English so I could remain a servant. I'm switching sides, and this is my insurance policy. Kimber's as FRB as me or half. Kimber, are you serious? Yes. Do something about it. See, I know what you're trying with me, because I've been burned before. Somebody always comes to me as a friend, and then they just screw up everything. And I know I'm a fall guy for that, but I am not falling the for it again! Is literally right there! Don't trust me. Go ask if they're missing them. Really? You stupid Kimber good. is not a spy. Kimber is good. And I have no such convictions about you. Kimber? You okay? Here. I'm turning the tables. How are you, Harry? I'm fine. What am I not? Most of the time. Well... I'm fine, and Dane's fine. Dr. Ramirez has been really busy, so he's gotten to take over some of the projects in the lab. Listen, Harry, I'm worried. <sighs> Look, Trace, it doesn't need to turn into a huge thing, okay? I can... Hey, is this the maybe we should tell Dane we killed a sister conversation? You knew? Of course I knew. I'm not an imbecile. I was in charge of Fort Mariah at the time of the uprising. Why didn't you tell me? Because I couldn't do that to you. Illuminate this for me. Did you actually kill Maddie? Or did you just abandon her somewhere along the way? When exactly did Maddie die? Because I've mourned her. I accepted it. That maybe it's even better that she's gone. But did you kill her? And fix this. Trace, please leave. I'm sure you were involved, but I don't care. Listen, I. Never mind.
I'm glad you're here, sir. It's good to be home. Where's Mr. Everett? We parked the convoy over there. And Harry and Dane? That's... Thank you.